Crone, and I am the owner of the Mushroomery. There's a mushroom for each color of the rainbow. They come in all different colors and shapes, and they're just absolutely delicious. I love eating mushrooms. Each one also has a different flavor. Everything I grow is delicious and it's good for you um, and it's really a fun job. Not all mushrooms can be grown. Some mushrooms like the chanterelle, which is actually the Oregon State mushroom, um, cannot be grown at a farm. They have more of a complex growing system and the mycelium, which are the roots of the mushroom, join up with different plants' roots and they grow in kind of a community together. They share nutrients, they share moisture, minerals, um, that's really hard to recreate in a farm. So some mushrooms are just wild. mushrooms what we use is something called a substrate and that's what the mushrooms grow on and all of our mushrooms grow on hardwood sawdust so trees that primarily lose their leaves in the winter time um, and we buy it from local mills and we either buy alder or oak uh, sawdust so we start by scooping up sawdust in a bucket Take our sawdust, we dump it in a straw, and we mix in nitrogen, which is usually alfalfa. And alfalfa adds a little bit more food in there for the mushrooms to grow on. So we'll add that in, mix it up. So now this is the food for the mushrooms. Next, we'll add a little bit of water to add some moisture to it, and that's like the water for the mushrooms to drink. After we mix everything together, we bag the sawdust that's mixed with the nitrogen and water. And we seal the bag closed. And we have a special sealer that works by heating the bag so hot, it melts it together at the top. And once we do that, we stick these bags into big barrels, which I'll show you in a minute. And we heat up the bag so hot that if there's anything living in there, just like little little spores of any other kind, um, it'll kill them and make it so it's clean and ready for our mushrooms to grow on. And if we don't do that, what happens is all those other things in there will start growing on the sawdust and our mushrooms can't grow on them. In their so these are called autoclaves or pressure cookers. They're what heat up the bags with our substrate in it really hot. So what we do is we take this bag, which is actually just grain, and it's the grain maybe you have for dinner. It could be rice, even popcorn. We grow a lot of different grains. Mushrooms love to eat all of them. Um, and we take the grain that mushrooms have already started growing on, and the mushroom, mushroom mycelium is the white parts. It's kind of like the roots of a plant. 
but the roots of mushrooms are called mycelium. And we take this and we break it up and we dump a little bit into each of these bags that has the sawdust and water and the alfalfa nitrogen in it. And once we do that, we shake them up and those little pieces of grain that we put in here will start to slowly grow through the bag and start eating the sawdust. And that takes about two weeks. And after two weeks, this bag will be just as white as this bag. It'll be full mycelium and the mushrooms will be ready to start to grow. Any of the mushrooms that don't sell at the farmer's market, we bring back to the farm and we dry. So here's bags and bags of oyster, shiitake, chestnut, lion's mane. Um, the dried mushrooms can store for years. They're also great to eat, just like fresh mushrooms. They have a slightly different texture when you eat them, but they taste just as delicious and they're just as good for you. We also will take the dried mushroom and grind them up into a powder. This is the same mushroom. This is a fresh chanterelle, and this is dried and powdered chanterelles. And this is nice because you can use it just like any other seasoning in your seasoning cabinet. It's really easy to use, and that way you're still getting great flavor in your food and nutrition. Um, chanterelles have beta carotene in them, which is the same thing that carrots have, which is what makes them orange and it makes this an orange color as well.